Working with the train operator who was at the controls Friday when a city of Chicago brown line train smashed into a purple line train on the near north side. CLTV's Ben Bradley has the latest on that investigation, along with details on the first lawsuit resulting from this crash. I fell over, my head hit the pole, um, went one side, and all I remember people were stepping on me, someone put on my glasses, um, hot coffee fell on me. Henry Scott claims he still suffers from neck and back pain after being tossed about inside a CTA Brown Line train after it crashed into another train Friday. In all, nearly 180 people had to be treated, mainly for minor injuries. The first class action lawsuit filed claims negligence on the part of the CTA, as well as the drivers of the two trains and an operator on duty at the CTA's command center. The Brown Line driver compounded that error by failing to keep a proper lookout for the purple line train that was directly ahead. NTSB investigators are listening to audio tapes of radio traffic between the motorman and command center. They've also interviewed the brown line train's driver, but won't provide details of the conversation. His account will be key. Weekend tests found the train's brakes were working and there were no signal problems. A warning light, however, did indicate some propulsion problems, but investigators say that problem was not severe enough to cause the crash. Throughout the train, there was a couple propulsion problems as far as cooling or um, uh, uh, a circuit breaker. The NTSB's investigation is expected to take several weeks, if not months. In the meantime, expect four passengers to join the lawsuit. Ben Bradley, CLTV News. That lawsuit seeks unspecified damages. Uh, meantime, a spokesman uh, for the Chicago Transit Authority has had no comment on the claims of negligence going on here.